I'm just gonna use this. I wish you had like a film just, to see what the setup is. is no, it's, it's good. I'm, I, my camera's positioned on the dash of my car on a candy bar. This is just the shittiest setup <laughs> you could possibly. This is YouTube classic right here. All right, I'm Adam Olinger. This is my buddy Derek Schlangen. This his last name sounds like a penis. Uh, we just got done seeing The Drop, a movie that probably nobody has heard of uh, on my channel, but. It was good. I thought it was entertaining, yeah. It's a different breed of people going to these pre-screenings. Yeah, you got people in their lawn chairs camping out an hour and a half, two hours beforehand for, for a the movie. drop. <laughs> for the drop. I was coming up the escalator at the Icon Theater thinking that we were standing in lines for Star Wars. The Icon Theater, uh, fun fact, is fucking locked down. You are not getting in that theater with a cell phone on, and there are like six security guards to make sure of it. There was also a character who we've just dubbed the Exercise Kid, and uh, you're familiar, of course, I showed you the video. As I waited for Derek to arrive to the theater, I was studying this, this child as he exercised up an escalator. He also sat by us in the theater. What are, what are the chances of that? Probably one in... 100,000 or so. I, I think that's accurate. I think yeah. that's right on. So let's talk about the cast. We had James Gallif Gan Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Gandalfini. Gandalfini. This both is, have beards. This is like his second or third film post-death, which I, I, is, it's kind of yeah. creepy to see, but... Post-mortem. Yeah, it was, it was nice to see him actually acting and doing a, a good job again. It was a nice uh, end to his career. Yeah. Unlike, what was that last shitty movie we saw? The Long uh, Kiss? No. No, no, no. Killing me softly. Killing me softly. Then we had uh, Bane himself, of course, not, not doing the voice, unfortunately, because the accent was a bit, it was a bit much at times. Coming from Britain, trying to do that whole Brooklyn accent, a couple times he just steered off the wagon a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it went off the rails a bit, especially during the narration. Mm. Then there was the female lead, Numi... Uh, Numi Rapace, I, I believe think? it's Rapist, but we'll... We'll go with yours for now. <laughs> she was she was nice and you know she, yeah she she, she she had a feminine lead to this show. And she was yeah. a female, so she did add that feminine spark that we need. Anyway, the story is straightforward, but there is some twists and turns, which keeps you on the edge of your seat, keeps you keeps you wanting more. I thought it was well paced, and well, it's only an hour and what forty minutes long. Forty six, so. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away, so I won't. We'll just we'll just move past that. I didn't really notice the music. Was there anything? Uh, kind of just more. Maybe some brooding was, kind of background elevator music. music. It, was, yeah. it was moody. That was that was about it. Mad Eye Moody. Yeah. What would you give this for a score if you had to say one through ten, ten being the maximum amount oh, you could give something, one yeah, being the worst? I believe in going in decimals, so I'm going with a seven. Yeah, you're just straight to the point. Uh, I do believe in decimals. I'm gonna go six point five. Uh, not a bad film. A bit slow at times. I feel like an hour and a half could have tri trimmed it up. Yeah, even hour and more. a half. I mean, there's some questions kind of at the end. Some scenes that really didn't need to be in there. Yeah. yeah. Cop that really didn't need to be in there. And that guy's coming over here now. Okay, let's start. Put it away. Yep. 